When my guide in Iraq, Ahmed, invited me to Baghdad's Al Medina Stadium to watch a football match, I assumed I'd be watching a live game. But when I arrived, found out that wasn't exactly the case. We showed up at the stadium only to find out that they're not actually playing the game in Iraq because FIFA deemed Iraq uh, too dangerous. While the match was originally supposed to be held in Baghdad and would have been Iraq's first time hosting an international game in decades, after Iran launched rockets at Erbil, a city in Iraq's Kurdistan region, FIFA once again deemed the country too unsafe to host home games and the fans were outraged. Is this unsafe? No, huh? I, I haven't <laughs> felt unsafe at all. <laughs> so why? They forbidden Iraq from playing here? But as a way to protest FIFA's decision and still show their support for the team, fans had organized a massive watch party. And so they're playing the game in Saudi Arabia, but they're hosting a giant watch party inside their football stadium. And that's where we're going now. So yeah, uh, every journalist, every club in Iraq, they will come to this stadium to send a message to the FIFA that Iraq is safe. Also, it turns out our guide was uh, one hell of a football player back in the day too. He was on the under 21 national team, but you don't get paid to be on the team. It's expensive to me to get to the training. We pay our, our equipment from our pockets, you know? And so it ended up being too expensive for him. And he just, he had to start working. But I'm excited for this. How's Iraq? It's good. Very good. Welcome in Iraq. Do they have a, uh, a nickname for the national team? Yeah, the Lions. <laughs> Iraqi Lions. Go Iraq. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, okay. Okay, nice. We're about to crush some pregame falafels. Pretty excited about that. Thank you. Money. Looks good. Although I must admit, I got a little too carried away with the condiments. What happened, Donnie? You put too many sauces on? I put three on. <laughs> one was sweet, one was spicy. That's fine. But then I put on like a, a yellow sauce, which was like salad dressing. And now I have too many flavors going on. <laughs> Even an hour and a half before kickoff, the place was buzzing. And being the only American in the stands, I was definitely a hot commodity. People wanted selfies, wanted to know my Snapchat and YouTube page. One guy even had me FaceTime his daughter. Before the game started, a couple football commentators famous in the Arab world came out on the field to show that they stand with the Iraqi fans and support the return of live international competitions to the country. She said we came to Iraq to show to the world that the Iraq is safe and we love Iraq. They're about to do the Iraqi national anthem. <laughs> Now I obviously wouldn't be crushing beers at this game, but they did have a kid in the stand slanging coffee and tea, which is clutch when you're running on only a couple hours sleep. This kid's a young entrepreneur. That is some strong coffee. 
coffee. Won't be able to sleep tonight. Can I have a little bit more? Huh? I'm glad I got seconds when I did because immediately after he spilled the whole pitcher. It's okay. Nobody said entrepreneurship was easy. While following the gameplay on screen was no easy task. It's kind of tough to see what's going on. Really tough. Yeah. The atmosphere inside the stadium felt just like a live game. And I could still at least make out which team was dominating. The ball's been on Iraq's half pretty much the whole game so far. We just need some more shots on goal. Vibe check. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, All right, cool. The vibes are high. At one point, I was sure Iraq had scored. <laughs> Turned out everybody was just celebrating a UAE penalty. The crowd was hype until they reviewed the play and determined it wasn't actually a penalty. There's no penalty, you say. No penalty. I shit you not, but that exact same sequence of events happened again 10 minutes later. It was quite a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> and I was just happy to be along for the ride. What is this guy selling? <laughs> Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Oh, cool. Yeah, nice. Where did the hoon vendor go? I swear to God, I saw a hoon vendor and then I lost him. But I have hoons. I just thought that was cool. Halftime rally hoons. We're going to crank a few hoons. We're going to go out there in the second half. And we're going to score, goddammit. I probably shouldn't. Use the G word and the D word together here. So uh, we're gonna score. That's right. That's right, baby. That's right. That was exactly right. As in the 53rd minute, Hussein Ali got around the UAE goalkeeper and put it in the net. After Iraq took the lead, the stands were overflowing with excitement. And I mean that literally, as one dude rushed the field. I tell you what, Iraqi security guards seemed surprisingly lenient. No chance that guy would be able to get away so easily in the U.S. But then again, there wasn't an actual game being played on the pitch. Not a lot of time left. Now we just gotta control. We just gotta control for two minutes. And that's the game. Let's go. Let's go your work. We're gonna get a goal. Two goals. One minute wasn't enough time for UAE to do shit. Dub secured. Looks like even Saudi Arabia wasn't safe enough for UAE. 
FIFA may have taken the team out of the country, but they sure hadn't taken the passion out of the fans. After the whistle, one more guy rushed the field. I thought we lost him for a second, but he was fine. E <laughs> Wait, no, stop. Definitely not. That's how you get the people against us. Now, Viva, we can all get behind. Viva! Viva! I like, yes, I like. Yes, so much fun. So much fun tonight. There you are. Let's go. What a wild game. Dude, I've supported so many teams over the course of this trip. Every team I have supported has won. Haven't witnessed a single L. Woo, firecrackers. Hey FIFA, if you're watching this, uh, I hope it proves that you can start letting the Iraq team play in front of their own fans, all right? It's not too dangerous. Just let them play. These fans deserve it. They're passionate, and they just want to see some live football.